French-Vietnamese Chen Anh Hung is Vietnam's most acclaimed contemporary filmmaker. He is most well known for his so-called Vietnam trilogy, The Scent of Green Papaya, The Very Ray of the Sun, and Cyclo. Chen's works are declared for changing perception about Vietnam. Specifically, his movie The Scent of Green Papaya was fraught with sensuality and not stuffed with the horrors of the Vietnam War like other movies. In this video, we shall look deeper into how he uses filming techniques to deliver his cinematic language by analyzing these three movies. Chen Anh Hung is known for the brilliant portrayal of sensuality on screen. There are two filming techniques we noticed that help with this portrayal, which are detail shots and symbolism. So what is a detail shot? A detail shot can be an image of small objects in relation to the general subject. These shots are done by filming realistic details up close, showing the acts, mundanity, and vindictiveness. Even if this detail might not contribute to the plot, it plays an important role in cinematic poetry. To understand the presence of detail shots, we prepared the following scene from The Scent of Green Papaya. The plot of this scene is simple. Mui picks a papaya, she prepares the fruit for dinner, and then she serves the meal. Knowing that we cut out some detailed shots, how long do you think the original one was? What if we tell you, this particular scene was over a minute long in the movie. More than two-thirds of the movie are shots contributing to showing details and emphasizing symbols. Another scene that captures the sensuality and the essence of intimacy using detailed shots is the shower scene in the vertical ray of the sun. This is partly achieved by the relaxed pace and realistic time-producing moments of subtlety and realism. These scenes carry a simple plot, yet they can do so much more for the viewers than just telling a story. They tell the viewers to slow down and notice the smallest things around them. This is exactly what Chen Nang Hung wants his movies to do. And when you can, you can give this feeling, this meaning, uh, this emotion to the audience, only by the means of cinema, then you are working on the specific material of this art. Now let's see how Chen Nang Hung uses symbols in his movies. To understand symbols, we must identify the sign or object itself, understand what it's signifying, and eventually recognize several repetitions. Let's break down some symbols in these movies. Close-ups of ants in the scent of green papaya are shown in a case which could be a trivial event of a boy killing some ants out of boredom. It is used to expose the innate terror of the action and reflects the disrupted emotions of the boy. The repetition in showing his older brother killing the ants as well emphasizes similar emotion. On the contrary, a similar detailed close-up of ants that is intercut with Mu's joy in watching them thrive shows how different the children's perspectives are. Another use of symbolism is the goldfish scenes in Cyclo. Covered in mud, Cyclo dumps his head into the fish tank. Here the goldfish appears for the first time. It comes up again near the end, where Cyclo paints his face blue and puts the goldfish halfway in his mouth, leaving it enough space to move. This image symbolizes Cyclo's struggles and how desperate he is trying to grasp onto life. In one of his talks, Chen Anh Hung shared that he was inspired by Picasso's idea about the existence of language even in the most abstract forms of art. From this, he creates his own cinematic language and certainly the filming techniques used in his movies have helped him to communicate with the viewers. So you have to learn, you know, uh, we have to learn how to speak this language. It's like you are walking inside of the head of the director. Everything is so clear, everything is connected. Having been able to interpret his language, a New York Times film critic, Jeanette Maslin, stated that he is a filmmaker of unusual sophistication. Robert Eager, the most well-known film critic in the U.S., described his works as beautiful, placid, and filled with sweetness. Undoubtedly, Chen Anh Hung is an excellent director when his movies only need symbols, camera angles, and direct editing to deliver impactful stories. The Vietnam Trilogy are three of his humbled number of works that show the audience not only conventional storytelling style, but the effective use of the cinematic language. After all, his goal in making movies is to make the viewers enjoy the films, not with the critical reasoning, but the language of the body.